Welcome everybody to my AI live and trying to get everybody here into the waiting room. I do not know if we can use AI note takers, so please don't do that until I get approval. Most companies like to keep their intellectual property, so um, if you're trying to use something to record this meeting outside of here, um, I don't know if that's allowed or not, so I'm going to default on what normal companies do, and that's usually not so until I can talk to Adrian and find out uh, if they want that intellectual property everywhere. Uh, but you can, of course, access the replays in the Facebook page and very easy to access those there. So let's see. Um, let's do this. Today is brought to you by the letter S. Anybody remember that? Anybody remember that? So a funny thing happened, and I'm actually going to make it a teaching. So um, the letter S broke on my keyboard. Do you know how many words have the letter S? Oh my gosh. I had to try to learn how to say what I wanted to say without the letter S or reach over to my MacBook over here to hit the letter S while I was typing. Very interesting thing that happens. So here's the fun thing. It's like you don't realize how used to the way you are to doing something until something shifts. Now, there's an important lesson in this. And I know it's kind of like a, it's a little bit of a stretch, but work with me here, okay? There's this little bit of a lesson of how many things do we do the same thing all the time because we're kind of not forced to do them a different way. And it takes a lot, an object in motion stays in motion unless something changes it, right? That's why we do My AI Live to change the direction of what you normally do to create a habit and a pattern of something else. And so when we get together every day, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific, we get together, we're learning some new things, but we're going and doing the social media posts, right? We're actually doing these things. And as we do them, we build new habits. Seth Godin always says, People like us do things like this. And so what I want to encourage you today is that each day you're coming here, you're putting an investment into your business. But if you're in network marketing, one of the best things that you can do is to have your team doing the same things as you. And so my encouragement to you today is Invite your team members here. Even if they haven't signed up for the My AI yet, invite them here. They're going to learn some social media, but then they're also going to learn the value of the My AI in building and getting consistent. And look at this. They're like getting a college education in social media, and they're not having to pay anything extra for it, right? So let me tell you, this is tremendous. This is a tremendous benefit to your team. A lot of times we make the mistake of as leaders, okay, I do this and then I'm going to look good because I'm going to take this to my team and then I'm going to teach this, right? And there's things that we do in that. We go to conferences, we learn things, and then we take them to our teams that weren't there, right? But the more you can get your team involved in exactly what you are doing and you guys do it together, the more community that you are going to build the more camaraderie you're going to build, and the more it's it's going to be, okay, we're all doing this together. So when somebody else new comes, it's not a question of, does this work? Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. I might need to do something else. It's we're all going in this direction. Do you want to go with us? You see the difference in the energy there? So there's my encouragement for you. Uh, second piece of housekeeping that I want to take uh, care of real quick. I don't think we're on July, 4, uh, July 4th. I, I haven't got the official thing from Adrian yet, but I don't think we're working July 4th. I know I'm not in my in, in my community, my company, and all my trainings there. I'm taking the day off. I have 
a really neat event that I get to go to. So I don't think we're doing this one. I'll let you know tomorrow officially, but I'm 99% sure we're not doing 4th of July because they even moved 4th of July's uh, thing to Tuesday. Last thing, our Thursday meeting is going to be on Tuesday. No, not ours, Cheryl's, <laughs> Cheryl's, Justin's and Adrian's. So you want to make sure that, um, and of course, Tom Chenault, please let, um, um, oh, I was going to say, what's her name? Uh, I, I'll text you. Um, but you don't want to miss Tuesday because all of you who have been asking about AI video, Tuesday's about the AI video that's that's coming out with my own site. Okay, so you do not want to miss that. All right. So make sure you're there. If you have to miss because you have another event or something else going on, make sure you watch the replay of that. Okay. So I think I got all the housekeeping stuff done today. Let's go ahead and start making our posts. Now, today's Monday. And with Monday, first of all, is there anybody brand new here? If you're brand new, put a one in the chat for me. One in the chat if you're brand new. And if you've been here before, please, and you've learned some things that are great, please put some sevens in here. Put some sevens in here. And that would be great. Okay, we got sevens and more sevens and more sevens and more sevens. Yay. All right. Fantastic. All right. So with that, um, okay, let's talk about Monday. One of the things I love to do on Monday is talk about, the, I, I'm always trying to reach the people who had to get up for work on Monday who didn't want to get up for work, who didn't want to come, that didn't want to do the things that they had to do this morning, that's still living the life that they don't want to, okay? That's one of the most powerful outreaches for me. So on Mondays, one of the things I love to do is to talk about I do, uh, French German, yes, French and German on Thank You Blake Stir is not canceled because they're not celebrating an American ho holiday, obviously, right? <laughs> so, so on the fourth, French and German are still having their uh, their my AI lives because they're not celebrating our Independence Day. Although, if you watch the Benjamin Franklin show, Franklin, uh, the French, I think the French should celebrate with us because they helped us, but you know. That's beside the point. All right. So back to what I was saying. Thank you for that Blakester squirrel there. Um, so on Monday, I want you to think back. If you have a successful business right now, I want you to think back to the days when you had to wake up on Monday morning, working a job you didn't like, and the feeling you felt. Okay. Now, if you've got that feeling, I want you to ask yourself, would you like to help somebody else not feel that feeling? It's a great way to talk about your business is the blessings that you have because of your business. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do our Google Chrome. First of all, we want to make sure you know where you can find your replay at. You're going to find your replay. Here at the official corporate nail site group, it's the official corporate nail site group. You can find that here. And you will find not only your recordings, you're going to find out information and all of the things that you need to know, right? So definitely want to make sure that you are here. And if you want to know more about me, you can find me here. My name is Elizabeth Larson. For those of you who don't know me, my, I am a personal business transformation coach, speaker, trainer, author, uh, network marketing professional. I have been in this industry and in teaching, building relationships and social media online for over 10 years. Started out with websites and blogging, teaching people how to use social media with those two things. And uh, I'll tell you, we have it so much easier than back then with the My AI. It's, it's pretty incredible. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's three things that we're going to do every single day. And this is what we're talking about with the consistency part, right? We're going to post on social media. We're going to comment on posts. And we're going to start a conversations. Posting on social media, our message out to the world commenting on posts, that's commenting on our own posts when people are making comments on it. So commenting back to them. It's also going out on social media and making comments on posts. It's going out 
and finding posts that actually have meaning to you. And uh, my 90 year old grandmother in law would be a far more comp. Oh, I'm not going to say that. I didn't. Okay, we're not going down that road. In a world that isn't always authentic, stay close to people that allow you to be you. Love that. Love, love, love this. So if you want to make a comment, you know, you're making comments. But what I suggest is making comments on posts that actually have some meaning to you with somebody that you actually want to have a conversation with. Okay. So when we're talking about commenting on other people's posts, we're talking about finding people that you want to have a conversation with. And maybe you think they'd be great for your business. Maybe you think they'd be great for your product. Maybe you just want to widen your tribe. Making conversations with these people, right? So same thing with your Facebook. You come over here, you go down through your newsfeed, and you're making conversations, all right? So you're just going to find posts that you like, and then you're going to make conversations from there. Once you start making those conversations, you're going to start conversations from there, from the comments over into a messenger, a WhatsApp or something like that. And then from there, the goal is to get them on to either a phone call, Zoom or FaceTime. I prefer Zoom and FaceTime over any type of phone call because I feel like it, because of the hierarchy of sales, you know, the trust in sales. In person, you get it the fastest. Video where you're actually seeing each other is the second best. Phone calls next, then text, then email, and all the way down. So that's where I want to lead that person to. So let's start with our post on social media. Lots of different ways that you can do this. Now, let's say you're like, okay, Elizabeth, that sounds like a great idea to post, but I have no idea how to write that or what I should say. Lean on the AI to do that for you. So if you have no idea what you want to post at all, you can just click a surprise me until you find a post that it gives you that you like. If you want, the other thing you can do is caption and suggested image. And let's do one kind of like the story of today. Write me a post about how I remember. This is the first time I ever would typing on this keyboard. It just came this morning by Amazon. So let's let's try this baby out. Okay. How I remember having to get up at 4 a.m. on a Monday to get ready for a job that I hated but needed to pay my bills. All right. Tell me I have a letter us. Yay, I have the letter us. Okay, today is brought to you by the letter us. Write me a post about how I remember having to get up at 4 a.m. On, on Mondays. On Mondays. To get ready for a job that I hated but needed to pay my bills. I thought my life was never going to change. And this is just the way it is going to be. I am so thankful for the person who told me that I could have my own business side gig and that I could have a different life. She was right. Now, I have an amazing life, and I get to help others start their new 
business and switch from being an employee to, and I am so thankful for the woman who was not scared to talk to me. She changed my life. Okay. So I'm going to do this two ways. That's a lot of wording. And I'm going to hit generate. Now, this is one way to do this. Ever felt chained to a job you hated? Oh, I remember those 4 a.m. Monday wake-ups all too well. But one incredible woman told me I could change my life with my own business. And she was right. Now I help others make the leap from employment to entrepreneur. Forever grateful. Transformation Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. The AI doesn't know what day of the week it is. We'll probably need to work on that. Okay. Now, if I wanted a little bit more with my story, make longer. Please put into the post more of what I originally mistyping wrote. Learn to type on this, please. Put into the post more of what I originally wrote about my story. Now, if you put stuff in there for the AI and it doesn't transfer over, give that a shot to ask it to make it a little bit longer and to put in more of that information. Okay, now this might be a little long for some of you, but remember, you can take out parts. You can only use part, you can use only part of it if you want. Or you can ask it to just still make it a little shorter. Completely up to you. But let's see how it flows first. Ever felt chained to a job you absolutely despised? I certainly have. And let me tell you, those 4 a.m. Monday wake-ups are forever etched into my memory. The relentless grind, lack of passion, and feeling like my potential was being wasted, it was all too much. I vividly recall every moment of dragging myself out of bed before dawn, day after day, for years. Then one day, faithful day, I'd take the faithful out, I met an incredible woman who would change my life forever. She opened my eyes to a possibility I had never considered, starting my own business. Her belief in me was unwavering, and she confidently told me that I could transform my life. It was a revelation that turned my world upside down with a mix of excitement and trepidation. I took the plunge. Fast forward to today, I can proudly say she was absolutely right. Now, instead of dreading Mondays, I look forward to each day with enthusiasm and purpose. I've built a business that not only sustains me, but also brings me immense joy. But the best part of my journey, helping others make that same life-changing leap from employee to entrepreneur. There's no greater satisfaction than watching somebody else break free from their chains and start living a life they love. Forever grateful for the incredible woman who believed in me and gave me the push. And I so desperate that push I so desperately needed. If you're feeling stuck or chained to a job that drains your spirit, know that transformation is possible. You've got this. Okay. It's wordy. I like it. I'm wordy. Okay. So we're going to hit get started. I'm going to hit post. As I hit post, I don't care for this photo. This photo is not exciting. So we have two choices and we need to address this really quick. If you don't like the photo, you can either decide to use a photo of your own or you can do the AI, find an image and put, uh, put a different image in there or do the ones with words or however you want, right? I'm going to go ahead and use one of my own photos. And let me see real quick. I'm going to find a photo super fast. I'm going to hit all photos. And you know, you just find a photo that you like, right? Find something fun. Find something you love. Um, let's see. Hopefully, quick enough. 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to go backwards a little bit. Sorry, guys. All right, this is it. All right, so I hit Facebook. I'm gonna hit get started. I'm not gonna download the photo though, cause I don't like the photo. And I don't wanna use it, and I wanna use a different photo, right? So that's fine. I'm gonna hit post. And as I hit post, it's gonna open on my Facebook. And then I'm gonna do this on Instagram. And then I'm gonna do this on LinkedIn and all these different things, right? Um, I'm gonna hit what's on your mind. And first I'm gonna put the photo in here. Now, PJ, you have to tell me if this photo matches, okay? So honest opinion of, well, is this photo? Because I've got two that I could use. Tell me if you like this one with the post that we just read or the other, okay? Okay, so I'm going to clean up the white space here. Okay, here's the photo. I'm at the beach. And that is a mud pie. And I'm enjoying the mud pie at the beach. So there's the ocean. This is La Jolla Shores. I was having dinner with a friend. So much fun. And so last, okay, so PJ, are we a go? Or should I use a different photo? We're a go? Yeah, okay. that's a go, yeah. Okay, we're a go. Okay. So the next thing I want you to do, so because what we're looking for is a photo that will either match the post really well or st and stop the feed. Remember, we want to stop the scroll of the feed. So now let's get some white space in here because if I leave it like this, for those people who don't like long posts, it's going to be too bulky. We need to make it easily digestible. And we want to tell a story long enough that people want to come on here. Goodness, I've got people in the waiting room and nobody helping me today. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. All right. Um, okay. Ever felt chained to a job you absolutely despised? The relentless growing lack of passion, feeling like potential was wasted. It was just too much. I vividly recall every moment of dragging myself out of bed before dawn for years. Then one faithful day, I met an incredible woman who would change my life forever. And I'm going to open some white space there as well. She opened my eyes to a possibility I had never fully, con I had never truly considered starting my own business. Her belief in me was unwavering and she confidently told me that I could transform my life. It was a revelation that turned my world upside down. With a mix of emotion of excitement and trepidation, I took the plunge. Fast forward to today, I can proudly say she was absolutely right. Now, instead of dreading Mondays, I look forward to each day with enthusiasm and purpose. I have built a business that not only sustains me, but also brings me immense joy. But the best part of the journey, helping others make the same life-changing leap from employee to entrepreneur. There's no greater satisfaction than watching someone else break free from the, their chains and start living a life they love. Forever grateful for the incredible to the incredible women who believed in me and gave me the push I so desperately needed. If you're feeling stuck or chained to a job that drains your spirit, know the transformation is possible. If I can do this, so can you. If you want to take the plunge or if you are wondering if you could do this too, I would love to talk to you. I currently have a couple of openings for people who want to build a business with me. You can own your time and your life. I would love to help you do this. Let's talk. Now I'm going to put some more white space in this so it doesn't, if you want to take the plunge or if you're wondering if you could do this too, 
I would love to talk with you. I currently have a couple of openings for people who want to build a business to work with me. You can own your time and your life. I would love to help you do this. Let's talk. Okay. Now, why do I put it that way that I have openings for people to work for me, with me? I don't want to sign up 20 people at a time. I don't. A lot of people do, and that's fine. But the problem that I see with that is, is that you're not actually working with them. And that first 30 days of working with somebody who's going to get into network marketing is the, is the most critical time to help them with their steps and everything else, take them under your wing and really work with them, right? So for me, it's a little different. For you, you may not want to put that in there. Okay, I'm going to hit next and then I'm going to hit post. So I build a business for retention, not for, oh, I signed somebody up. The sign up is not the win for me at all because it, it, that doesn't make money, right? M money's made when you help somebody else build a successful business. So for me, I, I want to actually work with people, which is why I want to have a conversation with them first. Now, if that's not how you build your business, you certainly don't have to put that part in there, but you absolutely um, do need to, you know, you can be clear of what you are looking for. Okay. So I've got the post there. That's done. Let's go ahead and do our five minutes real quick. We are going to go ahead and uh, let's do our post. Now, I recommend on Mondays, the Monday post of people going to work because there are a lot of people like, or another one that would work really well this week is, are you excited about 4th of July? What are you planning on doing? Are you excited to not have to go to work? You know, do you get the holiday off kind of thing? You can do that one as well. That one would work really well today also. So we're going to put up the five minutes. Let's go do our posts together, building our businesses, right? And then if you have questions, put up your um, hand and just let me know what your questions are. And then we can answer questions during this time. Oh, really? I'll try that, Jennifer. Um, and then also, I would love to showcase some of your posts when you're done. So make sure you put your post in there. Let me give it a shot. Is it on your phone or on the computer, honey? Phone? Okay, let me give it a shot. All right, we're going to put the timer up. And we'll hit start. Okay, let's go make our posts and then let's showcase our posts. If you have questions, just go ahead and throw your digital hand up. Elizabeth. Yes. You you mentioned um, AI photos earlier. Where I do you get that from? I can talk about it on this meeting. No? I can tell you on the next meeting. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. A... I got to run. I'll be okay. back. Love you, honey. See you soon. Jennifer, it's working for me. Try, try closing it out and restarting. And if that doesn't work, uninstall the app and reinstall it may need an update. Maybe that's it. Sorry, honey. All right, let's do any chat questions we've got on here. Absolutely. So PJ asked the question, can start a conversation also be used to start a conversation in a group? Yes, absolutely. 100%. I think that would be a great thing to do. All right. Great job, everybody. How did you, everybody get a post done? First of all, hopefully everybody did. Two posts. Mary did two already. Look at that. J. Michael did it. Jennifer, hopefully that error didn't. I, you guys still got a post. Okay, great. All right. So if your app ever messes up, just, un uh, just close it out and reboot it. And then sometimes you uninstall it and, and who knows? I mean, it's technology. It's definitely not perfect by any means. Okay, let's go showcase some posts. Um, let me do this. All right, Belinda, let's go over to your posts real quick. 
and show that. All right. Well, all right. I used to dread Monday mornings, waking up early to a job I didn't care for just to pay the bills and thought things would never change. But thanks to someone brave enough to tell me about starting my own business, my life completely turned around. Now I help others make the same leap from employers to entrepreneur. If you're feeling stuck or chained to a job that drains your spirit, know that transformation is possible. If I can do this, you can. So can you. If you're wondering if you could do this, I'd love to talk with you. You can own your own time and your life. Let's talk. Love this. And I love this photo with it. So photos that are outdoors, photos that make you feel like you're having fun and stuff like that. Those work, work really well, especially with people who are stuck in an office and stuff like that. So that is a fantastic post. Not, the only thing I would I would do is maybe add a little bit more of what that was like for you to work that job that you hated. Um, outside of that, it's a perfect post, Belinda. Great job. All right. Thank you. I learned so much from you, Elizabeth. Oh, yay. Thank you so much. All right. All right, we've got a hard stop coming up. Do want to make sure that I am able to get that, but let me do this. Just this and all right, Courtney, let's get yours done real quick. I know you didn't have your digital hand up, but I do see your thing in here. So let's do this one. Okay. All right. Feeling grateful every dang day that I can hustle and make a difference from, from anywhere, anytime, and hang out with the ones I love. Big love to this wildlife. Want to join the ride? Holler at me. You might be in for a surprise. This is good. I would actually put more in there of what you overcame and what you did, though, because what you're trying to create in this is uh, more connection. And so you'll get rubies like that. So there's four personality types, okay? Reds and rubies are like short, get to the point, let's go kind of things. But the other ones tend to like more information, more connection. So your blues um, are going to be all about community. So a post that that's that short, they're not going to connect to at all. They're going to be like, oh, okay, uh, because they're looking for something a little bit deeper, a little bit more meaning, a little bit more wordy. Um, so my recommendation is to write a little bit longer. Maybe not as long as me. I'm I'm more in peace. You certainly don't have to be as long as I am. But the more information you give about your own story, the more ability that the person who's reading it has the ability to connect with you. And the question everybody's going to ask is, Elizabeth, how do you know this? Because the first network marketing company I signed up with, I never met a person. I never met her. Oh, some of you guys got to pop up there. Okay, we're going to end with this story. I read a blog. She posted a blog on Facebook. I went over from Facebook to her website and read the blog and thought, okay, and got busy and left. A couple weeks later, she posted another blog. I went over there. I read. Reading, reading, reading. Then read the rest of her website. Then read more of her blogs. And everything she was saying made so much sense. And because she had so many blogs and so much writing and so many words, she looked credible to me. So I immediately signed up for the opportunity and the full kit. So, right then and there. Never met her. Never had a conversation until after I had signed up. This is the power of connection through story. That's why story is so important. So, the, and it's also why just buy my product, just buy my product doesn't work because there's no connection in that. So the more you can connect your authentic story out there for the reader to connect with you, the more possibility you're going to have for those extra signups outside of, you know, just what you're doing right now. So just something to think about, ponder on that a little bit. And really a great exercise, if you want to take this a little bit further, is to write out your story, write out the things you've overcome, write, write out the things that you've accomplished in your biz business, and write out where you're going. And if you can start talking about all of those three things, guess what? You're going to have incredible success because people will authentically connect with you. All right. Have a great day. 
Isn't that crazy, Jennifer? It's insane. That's how I signed up. <laughs> so I mean, I, I teach social media, blogging, writing, building relationships on social media. It works. All right. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at, tw at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific for my AI Live. Have a wonderful day. I love you all. And if you need anything, please reach out to me. If you want to have a conversation you need help with this, let me know. We can answer your questions here. Just let me know the kinds of questions that you're looking for to answer in your business. And then we can actually do a demo of that here for you if you like. So have a great day, everybody. Love you all. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, thank you. Great. Bye, you guys. Bye.